ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about the politics as an expression of adult education. Okay, now according to CISO 2001 that the politics is needed um, in adult education and strategies set the practice, uh, program and policy levels. Okay, the needs of um, negotiating through social change and human conditions such as conflicts, constraints, conundrum and inequities. Uh, quoted by CISO that political aspects of adult education reveals multiple ways of uh, examining the policies, programs, and practices that shape the roles of adult educators. So, politics is a form of institution where as adults can uh, express their opinion through ideas, current status, financial strength, leadership, and civic responsibility, and uh, aligning their very roles with other adults. So, quote by Mehul and um, Tanner in 1994 that when these uh, actions occur, adult um, access, support, and learning experiences will be enriched and no longer be hidden and fragmentary. So, everyday lecture comprises of underlying democratic ideals to maintain the reality background, which is the realistic world that we live. So, how to negotiate in a democratic classroom? According to Colin Three and Hidi 2001, we must first practice what we teach. We must be willing to consider alternative models of graduate adult education. So we must be afraid, not be afraid to critique the assumptions that influence our, our social and political worldview. So the tension between idealism and realism could be a positive element for the discipline of adult education, causing the field continually to clarify its purpose and reaffirm its philosophical beliefs about what adult educators do. So adult educators or professors of all age groups and disciplines have more to gain from an appreciation of their similarities uh, than for dwelling on their differences. So Sparks 2001 studied the gender analysis of lives of class and race is differently constructed and maintained among groups of women. Uh, Quingley 2001 studied the new era of literacy democracy in which the lessons of policy, research and practice can play a greater role in the civil society of the future. Uh, we can influence the larger society only if we demonstrate that we can work together in a conflict world. Uh, the leadership um, this negotiation has been looking quote by Cunningham in 2001. So there is a need for the adult educators to understand the politics of the work. The practice as political activity and uh, the political positions and consequences of the engagement should or could be like. So here are the versions of all the reviews of all the political issues and turmoil that confront adult educators by Hansman in 2001. So number one, the political landscape of adult education is a bumpy terrain. And number two, to become level adult educators remain separated from each other residing in their ideological caves. Okay, um, I'm talking about the turmoil and issues that confront adult educators by uh, Hansman. All right. Now, um, number three, the di discipline of faculty in all areas need to understand that their word as inherently political. And number four, uh, understanding that education is never neutral and is never practiced on an impartial stage. Okay. And number five, need to identify um, power issues that shapes the practices and moves toward participating fully in the political actions. And number six, the turmoil issues facing the adult educators is remember it is a field that has a long history of political work in literacy, uh, civil rights, women's movement, immigration, uh, unit organization and the environment and many others. Uh, number seven, how to apply the historical movement to facilitate understanding of the roles of adult educators. Okay, term more issue also include number eight, re-examine the graduate program curriculum on a regular basis to make sure it recognizes and reflects the complex and changing world of adult learners. The term more issues that facing adult educators in political area is also number nine, actions to inform and educate elected officials about 
of issue, a critical adult education legislation and policy decisions. Okay. Now, in conclusion, today we learned that the adult educators have the responsibility to hold up the entire world, and to work to its perfection, the adult educators must recognize and respect differences, negotiate conflicts toward resolutions, and embrace broader understandings of the work of adult educators. But also, to continually express and examine the issues of power and domination to help adult learners overcome the hegemonic structures that keep their need, presence and voices absent for, from discussions. Okay, this concludes my today's topic on politics as an inspiration of adult education. So my next topic will be mentoring. Stay tuned and thank you for listening and goodbye.